Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain. Hope you're having a good day. How would you like to make polymer stamps without having to fuss about timings, washing things out, getting things precisely right? Does that sound good? Yeah, I thought it might. Okay, you need a flat surface such as a ceramic tile like this one. You want to have some acetate to hand. And you want some waxed paper. Now it's very important that it is something which is not going to stick and the waxed paper is by far the best thing I've found so far to use. You want to cut out a frame for your design but you'll understand why in a moment. So, I'll do this in the centre, it doesn't matter. What you need to do is to Put a frame of an appropriate size. Now this is just cut out of card. It's not overly thick, but I think it was something like 240 GSN. It's the stuff that comes from Aldi. So I have my polymer. Please do not leave messages underneath this video saying, where can I get the polymer? I have addressed that so many times. You just need to watch some of the other videos and the one labelled VX55 is a polymer that most of you can get your hands on. So I've got some polymer in here. It's a UV polymer and this one happens to be the NG7 because that's the one that I get in Spain. And there we go, got a blob of it there. Then you need to put your wax paper on top and it needs to be wax side down so that it doesn't stick. Place it so that it touches the centre and then let it fall to the sides. And make sure it contacts all the gel then get something else which is flat and I've got a glass tile here so you can actually see. Put that on top and press. Now the idea of the frame is that hopefully it will keep the gel all one depth. I've done this before without a frame and it's difficult to judge the depth of it. But hopefully this will be the same. Then you take your acetate and you turn it upside down. And then you put a UV lamp over the top. Now this is just a normal standard LED nail lamp. And I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Right, so it's had a minute to cure. Turn it over and the wax paper will come off. like so. You may need to take a knife to the frame to remove that but that's easy enough to do. Just to take the frame out of it. So you put that on your cutting mat. Now as long as you have this secure to your cutting mat, this is not going to move anywhere. I can tell you that. It will not shift. It just won't. It is well and truly adhered to that. Having said that, once you want to remove it, you just peel it off quite easily. It's not permanently stuck, but it won't move when it's being cut. So this is the stamp that I cut out and I can peel it off of here. It's actually quite strong stuff, okay? You don't want to pull it to pieces, but it's quite strong. It's not really, really fragile. And that's how you can make your stamps. Now you don't have to make just a tiny little bit like this. You could make a big sheet of it, but all you'd have to do 
is to move your lamp from place to place to make sure it all got cured. Or alternatively, if you live in a sunny climate, you could probably cure it outside. I can't cure mine outside today, even if I wanted to, because it's wet in southern Spain and it's raining. Huh, go figure. But that's how you can do it and you'll end up with a sheet of this film that you can cut.